Welcome Pisces. <laughs> okay, Pisces, let's see what's coming up. This is for the soul reading. I see two message. Share your voice. Um for your soul reading. Okay, so um Pisces, wow. You need to share your voice more, Pisces, to heal your soul. It's like the more you share your voice, the more you share the information, the more you share, you communicate. That is going to be helping others because this is a soul reading, okay? Remember, for the extended of this reading, use the link below. I'm trying to get through this reading. Um, so, Pisces, I see that you need to share your voice. Come out of the cave, okay come out of the cave come out of the um, um seclusion express your information express yourself through your voice i see um mintak longing for a home belonging someplace the original light workers so you know some of you um are trying to find your part in life Okay, and this is what is crossing you at the moment. What is crossing you and what is blocking you is trying, you know, you're longing to go home, but you need to finish the work on this planet before you can go home. Okay, uh, trust me, I know what you're going through because I'm having the same thing. I can't wait to get off. All right, but we got to finish the work here, Pisces. So, oh my God. Get grounded, Pisces. You got to ground yourself, okay? Um, light workers, star seed people have to always ground themselves, okay? So when you sit, sit flat. Um, if you can walk like barefoot in your house, you can ground yourself, especially if it's a wooden floor or a, um, yeah, um, walk barefoot or in socks so you ground yourself. So Pisces, you need to ground yourself, okay? And I know what it's like. I know you want to get off of this planet, but you have to finish your work because if you come back, it's going to be harder and harder and harder, okay? So learn to ground yourself because you Pisces are very empathic. You're highly sensitive. Connect with nature. So Pisces, go out there and connect with nature, okay? Your soul family is going to be coming in and helping you, Pisces. Pisces! <laughs> I love you guys. Your soul family is going to be coming in and help you. Um, a lot of you are going to be meeting your soul family in this time spent. And I see the sisterhood of the rosary is going to be coming in. So if you are, if you have ever thought about to join the sisterhood of the roses, it's a good time to go join them, okay? wow so beautiful pisces you have also a beautiful reading um so it's a share your voice whatever is transpiring pisces you got to share your voice in that way you're healing others but you're also healing yourself the helpers that is going to be coming in is your soul family you need to ground yourself and i see it's good to join the sisterhood of the road so the ever unfolding rose crack open it's happening for you pisces oh my god this is a beautiful reading for you pisces i knew it baby baby i love pisces people so um wow pisces i i know you're longing to go home i know you feel and you know in your heart that this is not your planet but we gotta get through this ascension process and we gotta help other people so i know we're so longing to go home because i tell you um whenever and this is a easy this is easy to do as a, as a star seed and as a um it is good whenever you have these difficult situations that uh, when you go to bed go home okay so when you go to bed ask your higher self to take you to your origin okay where you're originated from the planetary system go home and then you rejuvenate yourself through the slab time and then you you come back in the morning okay that's another way because i know some of you are like i don't know what else to do um in the month of october november december I see no 
wait, postpone, pause, say no, no, wait, ha! no, wait, postpone, pause, say no, Pisces, no, wait, postpone, say pause, no, Pisces. So whatever is happening, Pisces, um, in the month of October, November, December, they're saying to you, no, wait, postpone, no, whatever is transpiring. So December, the Palladians are here for you, Pisces, and somehow Pisces people are connected with the Palladians. They have a really um, protective. So the Palladians are here, Pisces. I'm so loving your readings. Uh, the Palladians are here, and they are going to be helping you um, to channel and to uplift humanity. Okay, so call upon the Palladians and ask them um, to touch, open you, and um, help you in whatever way they can and stand with you as you're challenging, challenging, okay? This is what I do. <laughs> That's why I always challenge. Okay, so, oh, if guys, if you know how I've been trying to get through these breathing, the energy is so, so heavy, okay? And if people are not feeling it, it's just so weird because the energy is so heavy. I've been just trying to like push through and because I'm doing, I'm using the light and, and, and I have to be calling up on the eye princess. The extended of this reading Pisces is below. Um, if you don't join my channel, join my channel and you will get the extended of this reading. All right. So Pisces, there's something. All right, so I see Pisces, whatever is transpiring, there is the end that is coming in. Um, and you need to get grounded. It's right beside getting grounded, okay? Um, there is the end to a cycle, the end to a situation that is coming in. Um, I see um, the end to um, an a, a, a issue that is happening um where you were trying to find yourself the ever and um, unfolding roses and i see judgment call is going to be coming in in the month of april may oh, october november and december and this judgment call is about no way postpone pause say no okay no way postpone pause say no so some of you could have been dealing with some issues, some inner conflicts about who you are, what is going to be transpire. But Pisces, there is no need to worry because guess what? Your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Pisces, um, the next six months, April, May, June, and July, August, September, your wishes and dreams are going to be granted. So some will get it in April, some will get it in May, some will get it in June, some will get it in July, some will get it in August, some will get it in September. Okay, name. So whatever is transpiring, some of you were having issues with either work or people at your work or with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, whoever this person is, and I see bam, 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 judgment call is on that person. Your wishes and dream is going to be coming true. Um, whatever is happening with this, um, this, this person, I see they're coming down on this person. And if this person tried to connect with you, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius man, it is a no, 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 postpone, no way, don't go, <laughs> okay? So it could be a business person, whoever this person is, it could be a business person, whatever is transpiring with this person in the month of Aquarius, in the month of, um, in the month of April, May, June, and July, whatever is transpiring, I see it's a no-go, okay, with this person. Whoever this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is, I see it's a no-go. I see justice come down on this person. It is a no-go. So whoever this person is and however they were affecting your life, I see your wishes and dream is going to be coming out. It was a karmatic situation that some of you were dealing with, but I see you're standing strong. Whatever is transpiring in the month of uh, October, November, and December is a no-no-go. Don't get involved get out of this situation okay 
All right, Pisces, I see it's all about spirituality for you, ultimate experience. It's about trusting your psychic knowledge, okay? And it's the res uh, resulting from the indecisiveness. And I know you guys deal with a lot of indecisiveness, okay? You're dealing with the fifth house. Huh. And the fifth house is the Leo. So you Pisces are dealing with the fifth house, so here you go you pisces are dealing with the fifth house okay now when the energy of the fifth house comes up because it's the house of the leo so it's a house of friendship um friends uh, business partners that sort of a thing but it is the house of friendship but it is also the house and the planetary aspect it is neptune so pisces this is good it's gonna be good for you pisces so what is happening pisces is that you have your own energy vibration neptune that is helping you and this is why i say to you guys pisces you're going to be lucky in this uh, year um you're definitely going to be lucky in this year because you are dealing with the fifth house the fifth house is the power of love it is investment gambles and other games uh, and it's your creativeness okay but it is also um with the trust of a child it is because uh, ch um, pisces are always feeling very childish that sort of a thing but it's also fun romance and meeting and uh, making heart okay do it dramatically so it is all about making changes in your life it's very funny inspiring others is so beautiful pisces so i see a lot of you your dreams pisces with the trust of a child because you dream like a child and that is good and that's why you inspire others okay so your individuality um and your idealism is all about fun romance and you know making a heart for other people be prepared to be safe sacred by others okay so that is just beautiful for you pisces and be a part of something overwhelming and do it dramatically and yielding is the best way to come out so pisces i love this for you because your own um planetary aspect is here you're working with a fifth house and the fifth house is always about um um friendships group of people it is the house of the leo okay so um, you're working on a positive energy. It's all about your dreams, your ideas, and it's going to be good for you, Pisces. I love this for you guys. All right. Um, so whoever this Leo person is, it's a no, no, no. Don't connect with this person. I see justice is coming. I see a judgment call on this person. Justice is coming on this person. Don't connect with this person. Pisces, truth is revealed. Truth is revealed, Pisces. So whatever is happening in this year, Pisces, the truth is going to be revealed. Whatever is transpiring in this year, the truth is definitely going to be revealed. So whatever the issues and situation is, the truth is going to be revealed um, in this uh, healing. Um, your soul is going to reveal the truth to you. It's going to be very beautiful, um, Pisces. Whatever truth is coming up and whatever is going to be revealed to you, it is how beautiful you are as a soul, okay? So truths are going to be revealed to you, Pisces, and this is going to be good. Then we have blessed change, Pisces. A major life change and brings you blessing. Congratulations okay a major life um um blessed change a major life change brings you great blessings so this is going to be beautiful beautiful for you pisces remember you can check out the extended reading below extended readings are there they're open up for you guys message from your um um people who have passed over um, they said, I send you love and sign through nature. Okay. So, you know, if you connect to birds, butterfly, um, that sort of a thing, you will see them passing by. And, you know, like if you ask a question, you will always, um, connect with them. Um, so 
someone out there, whoever is thinking about the people who have passed over, they're sending you messages via um nature okay so it can be with a butterfly can be with the flowers it can be with birds uh, um uh, name it whatever is in, in nature i absolutely love you guys um pisces you are going to be truths are going to be released um revealed to you and a major life change brings great blessings to you pisces i love you guys i want to say to you pisces enjoy the soul reading and whenever you're feeling down, come back because this is going to cheer you up. Pisces, subscribe, likes, and share this video uh, and um, join the channel because there is going to be a lot of extended readings that is going to be coming up for you, okay? So um, whatever is happening and transpiring, I love you guys. Namaste until next time.